Hi friends, my name is Meg. I'm the head of education at Briogeo. And today I wanna to talk to you about the difference between salt sprays and sugar sprays when it comes to achieving the perfect summer beach wave. Both salt sprays and sugar sprays are great for giving that PC separation and helping to encourage a natural wave pattern. So why choose one over the other? Well, salt is actually known to dehydrate things, which is why it's often used in things like food preservation. That's because salt is osmotic, meaning it causes osmosis. It pulls water across a membrane. So when you're using a salt spray in your hair, you're effectively pulling the water out of your hair. And repeated use, like all summer long, can leave your hair feeling dry, damaged, and kind of straw-like. Even worse, salt is known to deactivate keratin treatments and can actively pull color out of color-treated hair, which is why a lot of hairstylists recommend not using salt sprays on chemically treated hair. So what do you do if you want those summer beach waves but don't want to use salt? Well, sugar sprays are the perfect solution because sugar also creates that grit and tackiness needed to enhance that natural wave pattern and give a little bit of hold to the hair. Sugar is a hygroscopic humectant, which sounds complicated, but it just means that sugar is able to pull moisture out of the environment around it and bind it to your hair. So while salt is pulling the moisture out of the hair, sugar is actually pulling moisture from the air and attaching it to your strands, leaving them feeling more hydrated than before you used it. Our new Superfood Banana and Coconut Soft Wave Texture Spray is the perfect example of this because it uses coconut sugar, which provides that great grit and pieciness to the hair while binding moisture to your strands, resulting in the perfect summer beach waves that are also soft and touchable and hydrated. I hope this helps. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.